Seven years ago, Earth was invaded by an extraterrestrial threat. Beginning, the alien wars. Millions died on the first day. Those were the lucky ones. But there's one thing you can say about us humans. When we have something to fight for, we fight. Day after day, inch after inch, for three years. Till the government's new vortex cannon wiped those bastards out. looked like our troubles were over, until an entire city popped out of the ground. We called it the Damned City. Maybe a little on the nose, but what else would you call a metropolis that looked like it was shot out of Lucifer's asshole? The government sent a survey team in, and they found all sorts of strange artifacts and tech. Super powerful, and super valuable. And the source of all this cool stuff was this weird gate in the center of the city. Unfortunately, uncool stuff came through the gate too. Really uncool stuff. Hordes of fucked up fiends attacked and killed anything with a pulse. And that wasn't the worst thing. At least we could fight back against the fiends. But how do you fight against the city itself? Just being inside the damned city caused psychic damage. Deep frying your brain extra crispy. It was incurable. If not, Fatal. With a few exceptions. I'm talking about the Yankers. Mercs, scrappers, and bounty hunters naturally immune to the city's effects. Those tough or crazy enough to hunt in the city for treasures and a paycheck. It just so happens I'm one of them. The youngest Jaeger, but the baddest. And right now, I'm in the damned city to drop off cargo. Dangerous cargo. You maggots start the party without me? Rogue You know the drill. This is Kaiser. He led an elite team of Contras during the war. Now, he leads us. See that drill he's got instead of a hand? He's real proud of it. You're late, Kaiser! And you're a fucking dick, Harakiri! Leave that drill bitch alone! Your input was not requested, but here's mine! This is Miss Harakiri and her alien gut bucket. They survived by merging together during the alien wars. That sword plunged into his mouth is the only thing keeping that asshole from possessing her body. But when she does pull it out, her power scale goes through the roof. Oh, dash it all! You soiled my armor! This is the gentleman. He was used in an experimental program during the Alien Wars, but he somehow stayed the sweetest bug you'll ever meet. He'll blow your brains halfway across the room, but in the politest way possible. <laughs> Hungry beast! I love him so much. HB is actually a cyborg with a human brain. A scientist brain. But he still eats, drinks, and does his, um, nature business like a real panda. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And then there's me, Lily. But you can call me Arrow Captain when we're working. My parents died in the alien invasion, but left me a flying gene. I've been piloting with the best ever since. And this here ship's my baby, the guillotine. No one can handle her like me. Oh, allow me to translate. My dear friend is asking if you are the scion of the owner of this delightful chop shop. <laughs> Comrades, we have procured our target. Well done, rogues. Our first score in weeks. This should please Lily. She mentioned our funds were running low. Not after this. That's fucked up. Well, guys, where's the hostage? Uh... Maybe they'll pay us half our fee? 
Citizens of Earth, after three long years, the alien wars are over. Let us not forget those we lost so that we could have this moment. It is for them that the world must remain united. We cannot resort back to our factional squabbles in the absence of a common enemy. What's happening, uh, Mr. President? Murderer! They assassinated the President! Arrest them! Traitors! Fuck! You okay, boss? Well, get decent and come up top. Meeting in 10. Okay, rogues. You know Swan Labs, that huge medical research company? They're working on a cure to replicate the psychic immunity that we Jaegers have. They sent a research team into the damned city. And surprise, surprise, they lost contact with them. Their CEO, Miss Swift, is offering a nice chunk of change for their return. She especially wants this guy back, the team's leading scientist, Dr. Claude Banks. What's his problem? Eh, probably just has to take a dump. So what do you say? Yes or no, we should probably upgrade our loadout for a job like this. I sincerely hope we won't need to upgrade the lavatory as well. Miss Swift has been hitting my comms hard. They're getting real antsy about saving Dr. Banks. <laughs> We do need the funds, especially now that Phoenix is launching genocidal drone machines against us. Yeah, but something doesn't pass the smell test. Hey! I'm not scared! You better watch or you're calling a coward! Now, now, let karma heads prevail. Why can't we refuse, dear friend? General Phoenix, we haven't tested the Vortex Cannon yet. Even the slightest error will lead to an energy feedback that will destroy us instead of them. That's why you're scientists and not okay. soldiers. <laughs> you two geniuses can go back to your labs and invent some balls. I don't recall giving you permission to fire that cannon, General. I believe the words you're looking for are, thank you. We'll secure the perimeter, sir. Hmm. We cannot resort back to our factional squabbles in the absence of a common enemy. Good. Oh, Mr. President! Huh. What's happening? Phoenix, what did you do? Explain yourself! I'm holding you responsible for this disaster! Mr. President! We must get you to safety. You can see how long I can hold my breath. Or you can watch your partner die. Come on, pussies! I will eat you, shit you, and eat your shit! Sorry, Manson. You killed him. They assassinated the president. Arrest them. What did you see? N nothing. Blow this lab. Make it look like an accident. I need one hour. Lock him in the other room. No! no. Uh, uh. Let me out! Please! Excuse me, sir. Huh? I cannot help but to notice your attempts to escape. They're however futile. I believe I can help you in your conundrum. But in exchange, I request my release. Anything. What's the plan? Well, sir, it is unconventional and perhaps slightly uh, painful. Yes, 
yes, much celebration. But if I may, the time... So you thought Banks was dead this whole time? You didn't abandon him. You just didn't know. Yeah... I don't do... hugs. But... That better be chocolate. Kurt, I can't believe it's you in there. My word! No, I will not tell him that. To paraphrase, he is quite thrilled to see you as well, Dr. Banks, and eager to learn how you're still among the living. It was nothing but luck. Swan Labs' hazmat crew found me among the wreckage. A quick stint in their med ward and I was back on my feet and back in business. I made it my life's duty to undo the damage we caused. Swan Labs was experimenting with psychological blockers, so anyone could enter the damned city without losing their, well, damned minds. And I succeeded in creating a cure. At least according to my lab results. I still needed to conduct a field test. While my serum was effective in keeping us sane, we weren't as well prepared for the city's other dangers. I was attempting to escape when I made an even greater discovery. The origin of the damn city itself. You see, when we fired the Vortex Cannon, we tore a hole in the fabric of space and time. The aliens weren't destroyed. They were transferred into the past! This created a paradox, splitting the timeline to create a parallel Earth. One in which we humans have been wiped out instead of the aliens. But nature cannot stand a contradiction. It needs to reconcile these two timelines into one. And it's doing so by merging our worlds with the damned city as the epicenter. But I know how to stop it. I do. Just step into my lab and I'll show you! No, no. That's no lab, Doc! <laughs> oh, shit! Hold on, everyone! No, he's not dead. You just smushed him a little. And puked on him. Fucking pandas. Miss Swift, we got your miracle boy. Ah, wonderful. I was told you were the best. Simply amazing. Yeah, and no offense, ma'am. We're not fishing for compliments. Just our fee. But don't you want to know who recommended you to me? General Phoenix! General, CEO, whichever suits you. You didn't really think I'd let you slip through my fingers, did you? <laughs> well done, soldiers. With Dr. Banks' exfil, he can mass-produce the serum, allowing me to send as many men as I like into the damn city. Fuck the damn city, Phoenix! That shithole should be wiped out of existence! Without fear of the damn city, our unified Earth will devolve back into the squabbling mess it used to be. We need it to stay just like it is to maintain peace and prosperity for everyone. You actually believe this horseshit? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Restrain them. Hit the deck! Move, move, move! Miss Swift, how much serum do we have left? Not a lot, but enough for a squad. I'll go get it immediately. I'm going to end this once and for all. Do you not recognize?
recognize the stench? We are in the only location quite inconvenient for General Phoenix to reach. The damn city? But I just got out. And now you're back in. We're protected for now, but Phoenix will have his entire army swarming through here soon. Unless, like I was telling you, or what I tried to tell you back when, F -f Phoenix won't come here if it doesn't exist. If we kill the city. You mean blow it up? No, I mean kill it. The city is actually an organism, sentient, alive. There's a s system of chambers, organic, living tech, powering the city with the energy from the gate. These damnation engines, they each pump energy like, like, like how a heart pumps blood. If we remove them all, the entire system will freeze. But, 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 but for a permanent solution, we have to close the gate, which we can do by using the engines to overload it. So, smash and grab and then smash some more. I say we give this city the biggest fucking heart attack anyone's ever seen. Take this nasty shit. Kaiser, you copy? We're just about done, Arrow Captain. ETA on pickup. Three clicks out. Copy that. Found them, sir. Sending coordinates. That you, Cap? That me what? No more games, Kaiser. Well, well. All kinds of shit falls out of the sky around here. Dangerous. I'm sure it is. I should have killed you when I had the chance, traitor. Traitor? Me? No, no, no. You're the traitor. If you were a true patriot, you would have killed me for assassinating the president instead of saving your half-breed. And now, I have all the power in my hands! Don't you ever test anything? a fuck and kill the city? Kill the city? Oh, no, 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 I will do no such thing. This city, this beautiful city must live and grow until it completely takes over the entire planet and the damned city becomes the damned Earth! <sighs> yeah, Banks' serum wasn't as permanent as he thought it was. Uh, Doctor, 
Perhaps you would like to step back from the engine and join me for a spot of tea? Why not? I'm done installing the engine. It will blow the interdimensional gate wide open! Swan Labs. Rogues, this is it. We have to shut down that gate before the damn city takes over the entire planet. Gear up. To these five heroes, we commend you for your bravery in destroying the damned city and bringing peace to our world. For real this time. against our extended vacation, but I am getting restless. Hey, as long as it isn't a military contract, I'm good to go. Oh, fuck that. Now that we're heroes instead of fugitives, the offers are pouring in. And I got a really easy one here. They want us to escort a science expedition into the old damned city. Cakewalk. Looks like our good luck is holding. Fuck yeah, it is. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. 